This question on uh, the ideal solution of depleting groundwater resources in India is water harvesting system. How it can be made effective in urban areas? Now, of course, uh, from a perspective of uh, the question, it is a very short topic uh, because it is only going to be talking about urban areas. Uh. But as a part of this question answer discussion, of course, uh, the moment I went on to have this request, uh, request made to me, we are going to be expanding the scope of it uh, to, of course, let you know about uh, water harvesting uh, and how is it that it, in urban areas it can be made uh, more uh, effective. Uh. So we are, we are going to be talking about some form of water harvesting as well. Rainwater harvesting, including uh, rooftop water harvesting, is a very effective method in checking the fall in the groundwater table and restoring it to the normal level. In certain critical areas, that means certain specific areas, uh, rainwater harvesting is actually used as a measure to mitigate uh, to a limited extent even to uh, tide over the problem of drinking water. So water harvesting can be done in situ, that is a collection of water in the original place uh, and the storage of the water in aquifers, that is artificial recharge, that is going to be ex situ. And uh, it can be done through the check dams that is going to be ex situ. It is going to be done through the percolation dams that is also going to be ex situ. Soil conservation methods uh, can help uh, to increase uh, uh, groundwater recharge and enhancement of the surface and of, uh, and, uh, and also uh, control of uh, evaporation uh, by maybe coating some of uh, the materials and coating through some of the materials. Uh, but, uh, Water harvesting simplified is a harvesting of the water in situ right at that place, ex situ away from that place in various ways as a measure to augment the groundwater recharge and to increase the level of the water table in these areas, any area that is chosen. Some traditional methods prevalent in India with respect to water harvesting has been uh, one of them has been diversion channels called uh, schools in the Himalayan region which make use of the hills and strings uh, underground water tanks uh, that are going to be called by the name of kunds in the desert areas and tunnels uh, dug through hillocks uh, where there is seepage of water which is generally going to be used in South India. All the traditional water harvesting systems have been adopted according to their specific needs and the environment uh, and they have been based on glocalization, that means the use of local wisdom and at a local level in this place. Yeah. Some of the common practices in these cases going to include Khalin, Nadis, Kund, Kuis, Tanks, Anikats, Arrakar, Johar in Rajasthan, Ahar and Pine in Bihar, then we are going to be having Katikante and Kola in Karnatak, Eris in Tamil Nadu, Zabu in Nagaland. Yeah. Kulse, Guls and Zings in the Himalayan region and so on so forth. So various types of water harvesting actually go on to offer many benefits. For example, one of these benefits is rise in the groundwater level. It goes on to assure a sustainability of water utilization. It allows self-sufficiency of the households. And at the same time, it also goes on to be having an effect on the mitigation of the effect of the water scarcity and a reduction of this wastage of water. Several new scientific methods have been developed for rainwater harvesting now. And some of these modern methods are going to include check dams, roof water harvesting, recharge pits, trenches, recharge wells, vertical recharge shafts, and lateral trench and bore wells as well. They are going to be in situ and that go on to be functioning well in the urban area. Of all of them, the groundwater storage is considered with the best method of water harvesting. The water so conserved in tanks or any other form of reservoirs they would infiltrate and percolate raising groundwater level and increasing the soil moisture that would help a better productivity in plant growth during the prolonged dry spell apart from serving as an assured source of water to quench the thirst on a sustainable basis. Rooftop rainwater harvesting and its diversion for uh, uh, recharging underground aquifers through existing wells or bore wells uh, 
is by construction of new wells, hai, by construction of new shafts, hai, or by spreading basins and other methods to capture runoff in catchment. Hai. And how is it that this runoff can be captured? This runoff can be captured hai, with, uh, uh, with the help of a check dam of shafts in this region. Now, that can be taking uh, place in the urban areas as well. So, this can happen through recharge ponds, that means the ponds that can go into be in the urban areas and some of the methods and techniques uh, that are uh, being uh, recommended that are going to include uh, the use of machines for this purpose. Uh. In urban areas, uh, specifically where annual recharge uh, to the groundwater has reduced considerably due to urban activities and that's largely because uh, we are going to be having a concrete surface. Uh, the rooftop rainwater harvesting can be made mandatory. That is going to be one way. And this can be made by amending the bylaws by awareness generation uh, among the people. In this case, uh, through some type of incentives, through some type of prizes, by empowering the Residents Welfare Association, RWAs, uh, and uh, listing some of the names of the people who have uh, done some pioneering work uh, with respect to prevention of uh, water wastage uh, and uh, other aspects as well. In all of these areas, uh, uh, we, as we have talked about, uh, some of the modern methods that can be used can be check dams, roof ward, rooftop harvesting, recharge pits, uh, trenches, uh, recharge wells, uh, vertical shafts, uh, lateral trenches, uh, all of these can be significant. Uh. Now that is one of the ways in which it can be done.